Hi, it's Donna Heifel of Heifel Performance Group. And we have our site at www.heifelperformancegroup.com and we are having an ongoing video series about change because our motto on the site is, are you tough enough to change? We believe that every initiative, especially in financial institutions, at the heart of every initiative that is stalled, that's not moving forward, or that needs to be rolled out, is an element of change that fails to be addressed. So our motto is, are you tough enough to change? Our three categories, what we believe needs to occur, is that when you want people to change, you've got to influence the heart, you've got to inform the mind, you've got to inspire the feet. And today I want to talk a little bit about shifting to um, informing the mind. We've been talking a little bit about influencing the heart, but you also have to, once you tell people kind of the why of what they're going to do and you emotionally connect with them, you've got to go to the what, because they've got to understand what it is they're supposed to do. If you don't, then this was what happened. Let, let me give you an example. Anybody who watches American Idol, and if you don't, you're probably not going to get this, but most people at least know of it. And it used to be until this year, you had two judges. You had Paula Abdul, you had Simon Cowell, and then you had Randy Jackson. But I'm talking about Paula and Simon. Paula was really the heart of the show. And Simon is the mind. Simon is the head. All of his comments are very thinker-oriented. That's, that's purely what they are. Paula would make people feel good about themselves, would build up their self-confidence, would you know do things in a way that they felt they connected to her. And it made them feel better. Well, this year, Paula's not there anymore. And what's happened is, it's purely thinker responses. Now, everything they're getting is what they should do, but with no heart. And you can see them kind of being demoralized. But what would have happened if it had just been Paula is that you would have had people with a lot of confidence, a lot of excitement, a lot of enthusiasm, but they wouldn't have had the what to do. Simon tells them exactly what needs to happen, whereas Paula kind of made them feel good about what they did. So when you're doing a change initiative of any kind, you've got to influence the heart, but then you've got to move to what they need to do, because if you don't do that, they just wander around feeling kind of good, but not doing anything differently. So that's my point today. I'm glad you rode along with me, and I will talk to you next time.